Hello, African Confessions. I am back with another episode. There is a story that I received a few days ago. Then I asked one of our admins. I just want to say thank you to one of our admins. She has been giving us a lot of these translations and it is not easy to translate some of these confessions. Now, the message that I forwarded to her so that she can give us a translation reads like this. How are you, my brother Nashi? I have a story that happened in my life and in my family. So this happened after my father passed away. So after my father had passed away, we started living in my parents' house, me and my wife and our newborn baby. But when I was staying in my father's house, I didn't know that my father was a ritualist. No one ever suspected that our father was a ritualist. Our father left some of the evil spirits in this house. Even up until today, these evil spirits still roam around in our house. He was involved in so many evil rituals and he never told anyone before he died that he was a ritualist. I just wish that our father had confessed before he had died. What happened is that my father passed away and at the time of his death, I was away. I was not at home. But now that I am staying at my father's house, there are weird things that are happening there, scary stuff that is happening there. At first, I thought that maybe it is just cats from my neighborhood. But now even the atmosphere, as you enter into our yard, you can just sense that this atmosphere, it is very wrong. God does not reside in this place. There is evil, there is devil in that house. As soon as you enter into our yard, if you are not strong enough, you can just turn back. You will just feel that we are not alone in this place. At night, you can hear strange things crying. I cannot even describe what kind of an animal that can give out such a scary cry like that. When that strange animal cries out at night, you are not going to find rest. You will never sleep when that animal is crying. So when I saw all of these things happening at my father's house, I said to myself, this is the work of the devil. These are people who are just jealous of the things that my father has left behind for me. So I was now in a process of seeking help from the prophets and to find out who has done this to me, who is jealous of me. So in our culture, since I got this house in a form of an inheritance that my father left for me, I cannot do as I please at my father's house. It will always be my father's house. Even if I leave this house to any of my children, this house will still belong to my father. So I had to travel back to the village so that I can inform the elders about all of these weird things that had been happening at my father's house. So at that time, I didn't have the money to travel back to the village with my wife. So I had no choice. I had to leave my wife and our three-month-old baby at home. It was only the two of them in my father's house. I never thought that anything bad was going to happen to them. I traveled back to the village so that I can have a meeting with the other elderly people in our family. So when I came back, when my wife was sick, she said to me that she left the child sleeping after she had finished bathing her. She had placed our newborn baby on the bed because she was sleeping. She then went outside to wash the clothes that the child was wearing. And that is when she realized that she didn't take washing powder to wash the clothes. So she rushed back into the house. But when she rushed back into the house, she realized that there was a snake. There was a snake on the bed and it was a big snake that was wrapped around our child. And this big snake was busy licking our newborn baby. She screamed for help and she ran outside to find help from our neighbors. But as she was going outside, that is when she felt like her eyes were burning. She said to me, it was as if someone had just poured acid in her eyes. When she came back with some men from our village, when they arrived, there was no snake in the house. The snake was gone. 
but the child was dead. But what surprised everyone in our village is the way that my child died. When they looked at my child, they saw that our child, his outer skin had been removed, leaving only the inner skin. Please tell me, how is this possible that in a few minutes that my wife left our child in bed and when she came back with the people that she had gone to call, this snake had licked the skin from my baby. The outer skin had been removed. Only the inner flesh was remaining. When the child was placed in the mortuary, my wife then fell sick. So I had to rush back home. I don't know how to describe this to you, but my wife had the same problem. Her outer skin peeled off and her inner flesh was left. My wife died too, my brother. It is so painful. I buried both of them on the same day. That was the most painful thing that has ever happened to me. As a family, when we buried my wife and our newborn baby, this left us devastated as a family. We then went to seek help from spiritual prophets and that's where we were told that my father left a snake and some goblins behind Brother Nashi. Can you believe that? My father got involved in these rituals. The reason why my father got involved in these rituals, my father was just an innocent man. My father didn't go out to get this ritual so that he can be rich. No, he went out to these traditional healers so that he can protect his house. But he didn't know that by being protected by all of these spirits that he was told were going to protect his house, these spirits were going to become these evil spirits. But now that he is dead, all these things that he did are following me. But where I blame my father is that even though he knew that all of these spirits that he had gone around gathering from different traditional healers, then these spirits, when they were strong enough, they turned around, then they started to use our father. One of these spirits turned one of these spirits we were told became a snake then one of the spirits became a goblin and these things were buried in the middle of our compound my brother nashi the sad part about my story is that even though i went to these so-called prophets who claimed that they were going to give me help i didn't get help regarding this and now i am getting sick after going to the helpers they said that now I am free and they claimed that they have removed all of these bad spirits that our father buried in the middle of the compound, but nothing is changing. I am now left alone. What hurts me the most is these prophets, they have given me false hope because whenever I go to visit these false prophets, they will say to me, go back to your father's house, everything has been sorted out. But when I return to my father's house, the same problem will be there. Those spirits, they'll be waiting to torment me. They'll be waiting in my father's house so that they can torment me over and over again. I am left alone, my brother. I feel so lonely. My wife is dead. My newborn baby just died. She could not even enjoy life. She was just taken. Now I am peeling all over my body. My body is now turning into white. What happens to me is that when I scratch, my skin gets removed. It's like now I am a black person, but when I scratch my skin, the place where I would have scratched, it is like now I am turning into a white person. At the hospital, when I went there, they are not seeing anything wrong with me, but I am suffering my brother. No one wants to be near me. They are afraid of what will happen to them if they hang around me the whole community doesn't want to be around me please spread my message maybe i might get help so that this problem might end maybe i can find a helper who will help me out of this problem i am afraid that i might die from this disease that the doctors say that they don't know anything about it and there is no cure for this disease Please help me, my brother. Dear listeners, right there was a message that was forwarded to me 
as a confession. Then I asked one of our admins to give us a translation, hoping that we were able to understand this confession. Let us meet again in the following episode.